Embrace the strange, today's illusion is in rounds. It's an old concept to me at this point. It was conceptualized on the same page as Fortune back in November the 18th to be specific. I can say that because I wrote it down because I wanted to remember. I've been working really hard about dating things. Um, but at the time, it was not appealing. I was also very intimidated because it's more intricate than Fortune. But it has been many months. Um, a new month now, even from when I wrote this and when I painted this. This is a view from above. The body is bent and pulled into a tight spiral. One leg beneath it, the other leg just above. One arm pulled inward while the other arm is wrapping the torso, clutching it, although delicately, with its fingertips, grazing the body. From the elongated neck, the head is flung farther out, the face upturned, keeping to my anglerfish theme, the purple eye is before the mouth. I almost regret not doing this painting sooner because as soon as I sketched it on the canvas, I loved it. However, it's probably for the best things worked out as they did. The vortex effect here is so nice, and I can recall when I drew I was thinking of water going down a drain. The more paintings I challenged myself to do, the more irked I am by my own contradiction. Um, you know, and that's the funny thing, is like, I never said any of this was gonna make sense, <laughs> but in a way it does, in like, a, you know, a big picture way. The reoccurrence of aquatic creatures and extraterrestrials, it's just like, doesn't my mind have any other language to, you know, communicate things to me? And maybe like the outer world than like fear sure there are glimmers of um plants and you know the consistent humanoid sort of body but the space and sea are more prevalent to me when i reflect on them although my alien dreams have never been you know so scary that i've been abducted they've just been like stormy and atmospheric so obviously you know dreams are very symbolic it wasn't actually aliens um the ocean sea as a whole is easy to avoid so you know, I don't live near any major coastlines, and I don't travel, and rivers slash lakes don't count. Unless you're in the movie Signs, then they absolutely do count, and you get to them immediately. And I don't eat fish, dead or alive, because they creep me out. They're just very unnerving. And, like, even goldfish, they're creepy cute, but, like, some of them, their eyes are very buggy, and their scales are translucent, and you can kind of see, like, their organs through them, and it's very creepy. To cross the two, it's very much a Lilo and Stitch situation. I'd be Stitch, you know, nearly drowning somebody. Or like in the um, T. De La Tim DeLaghetto podcast where he was talking about how he couldn't tread water. Same, I cannot tread water and my body is not very buoyant. I had to, many a time in my childhood, ask my sister to like dolphin me across water because I just, I just can't do it. It's just not, I would never make it across an Olympic swimming pool. I would drown. <laughs> anyway, if I had to choose between ocean or space it would be um it would probably be um space which one would you choose both are scary anyway if you take anything away from this video it is art truly art and art goes on so i will in my next video thank you for watching